All right, here she is, all finished up and ready for the next steps. So a few things that I had to do to get her finished up. One of the things I forgot to mention last time is actually right back here. You can see when I put the, the little piece in right here behind the rudder, I had to shave in a little half moon shape so that the elevator would clear as it moved. So don't forget to do that as you're building it. And a little issue I hit with the cowling getting it on is when I set it up against the ring up against the former over here, it didn't line up with the spinner. So uh, I had to shim it over and not sure you can see, but you can just see the edge of that former that form right there so that makes it line up but it does make me a little concerned about motor thrust and if this is actually lined up well so we won't know that until we fly it this spinner won't get finished up I have the paint for it but it's been so humid here in Florida I'm not gonna paint that until probably after the maiden and that'll be okay uh, I did change out the wheels for Dubro Superlight wheels. When I put those ones that it comes with that are super hard, I just didn't like the way it sounded when I set it down on the ground. So I switched out to Dubro's. It fits the axle a lot better. It doesn't make all that noise that you get from the ones that come from the factory. And it's just a lot softer on the gear. So I feel like that was a really good upgrade. Um, one of the comments on another video, David posted that he had one of these and the little motor box in here for the electric. It's gonna be hard to see, but he said to double check that and make sure that had plenty of CA on it. He had one that was a little bit weak so thank you for that David I am gonna double check that when I do another upgrade to this and I have a bunch of stats for you guys and I'll I'll repeat them down in the comments but she's ready she's these servos are super fast super super precise they're very smooth when you want it nice and controlled But when you want it there, it does not hesitate. So I'm really happy with these servos so far. I really feel like it's going to make this thing perform like nothing else I've flown. Um, so with that being done, I have been doing some statistics, getting some data on it. So I'm going to, again, put this down in the comments. But uh, this plane comes in all up weight, ready to fly with actually this really light battery, this Gen's Ace 3360C 6S battery. It comes in at eight pounds nine ounces and that is heavy from what the factory says the factory says this should come in at about seven pounds 7.9 pounds so i'm way over that i really feel like i have not overbuilt this plane i did not add a bunch of stuff to it uh, i added some fuel tubing in different places the spinner is probably a little bit heavier because it's got the aluminum back to it but this battery is lighter these servos are actually lighter than the pilot factory servos so i'm not sure where they got that 7.9 pounds but i think you'd be very hard pressed to achieve that with the setup that they recommend I mean, I've got the ESC they recommend, i got the motor, so I really don't think that number is achievable. So with that, I've been running other numbers to see how it relates to 
watts per pound and how it's going to perform in the air. So this battery is the battery I flew my old plane off of. So 6S 3300, it did a great job on a 60 inch plane, but it's not big enough for this plane. It just doesn't have enough milliamp hours. So I have run it, run this on that. It runs for about three minutes on pretty high throttle rating. So I might be able to sneak four minutes out of it, but that's just not gonna be enough. So I've ordered 4,500 milliamp batteries. So they're coming in and I've done the calcs on that. So with the bigger battery, this plane is gonna be just a hair under nine pounds. So for my calculations, I've just been using nine pounds. It's gonna come in at like eight pounds, 15 and a half ounces. So nine pounds. And with this prop, this is the 1810 prop, like what Pilot says you should go with. So I don't know if this Zor is much more efficient than theirs, but I got some different stats off of it. So at a wide open throttle, I get 6,500 just over RPM. So 6,500 RPM. So if I calculate that out, I get 252 ounces or 15.75 pounds of thrust. And that sounds like a lot because that's six pounds over what this plane weighs. But when you go a little bit deeper and you look at watts per pound for 3D work, you really want to be somewhere north of 150. And when I put a watt meter on this, I get, with this prop, I get 1400 watts and 65 amps. And the math on that works out to be 155 watts per pound. So that's right at the edge of that real 3D work. So I'm a little concerned on getting into a hover, being able to go vertical out of it. So what I'm going to do with this motor, so this is not the R, this is the GA2000, so this is the 400 kV motor. The R is 470. So with this one spinning a little bit slower, this one you can put a 1910 prop on. And that should get my, get me to be able to pull some more watts out of this motor and some rough calculations i'm hoping to get about 170 180 watts per pound and that should do really really well in the 3d so when i look at the dual sky calculations on this motor it says with this 1810 prop i should be pulling about 80 amps but i'm only pulling 65 amps this motor will go to 100 amps. So I'm well below what this motor is capable of. So I'm gonna go, I've already got it on order, waiting on it to come in. The 1910 Zor prop, I'll get that on, see if I can get some more watts out of this and uh, make me really, really comfortable on how it's gonna perform. The 1910 should add about another pound of thrust to it. So I really think that's going to help it. Um, but I'm waiting on the, the battery to come in. I'm waiting on the prop to come in. Do a few more tests. I got some other things in life that are coming up. So it's going to be a couple of weeks until I can get to a maiden on this. But I am really excited. I'm really just waiting on everything to lock in so I can go out and do a maiden. I will do some more testing of these servos while I'm waiting to try to see how many amps they're pulling all together with these big surfaces. So stay tuned and we'll get this one maidened.